for the 76ers. Allen Iverson, as you've said uh, uh, recently, Mike, has uh, really gone off on games of 37 and 40 in this last two. In the second game against his former teammate. Iverson gets in the lane, gets the basket, and gets the foul. It's on Baron Davis. Again, much more efficient, and it's tough to let him get to his right hand. You've, you've got to set that way, and uh, when he gets into the middle, these bad things happen for the other team. <laughs> the other thing, too, is to see that, and it happened in the Boston game, if, if Barron gets in early foul trouble, he does not deal well with that. That's just one of the kind of the last hurdle up to shoot over. Hawkins. The Iverson foul line extended. It's only five on the shot clock, and Iverson drains it. He's two for two from the floor and has all five in Philadelphia's point. Each other is out on the floor, and it's really starting to show in their statistics as we viewed at the top of the show. And the only two misses that they've had with each other as Iverson continues to hit. On was wide open coming out the other side. Iverson rises over Wesley, and he'll hit. Iverson with nine. Six inside the arc at 51 percent to take your risk. Well, the other deal, maybe that jars something loose. Into a numbered situation in the half court that let the play develop. Iverson crossover, bumped by Wesley, the delivery down low to Corey Blunt for two. A great uh, playoff experience that way, to go all the way to game seven. Here's Iverson down the lane, and what a play by Allen Iverson. Aaron Davis picks up foul number two. And Iverson now has 15 points. And what makes that tough is you're influencing him to his left hand, and he still beats you and comes back with the right and scores. Allen is one, you know, we saw Latrell Sprewell, and I, I consider Latrell Sprewell an unguardable player, and Allen Iverson is the essence of an unguardable player in this league. It's the free throw. They are, uh, they are letting a lot of contact go on both sides. The referee's been uh, pretty even in this game. So the Hornets making only one of every four shots. Iverson looking to buy a foul. He'll get a basket anyway. Third. Right. Iverson, the game's leading score with 19 and now 20. Hold here in the second. Six-point lead could reduce to three. Iverson with 23. Yeah, we talk so often about finishing quarters strongly, and then Charlotte has not done so here. It's been a struggle throughout the period. 4.9 seconds left. Iverson over 20 yet again. Larry Brown looks on. Roger Bell and Baron Davis have a little quarrel. Allen Iverson has been the difference so far here in the first half with 23 points. P.J. and D.W. see things going their way in a strong first quarter. The Hornets will try to tie that back together in the third when they come back. Here's Iverson, way alone on the left side. He'll tie the ball game up. And the scary thing about those... No in the front court quickly. Pushes ahead to Coleman, up and under, Hartford for the lay-in. Glory in the ball game with Stacey Ogman. No, Iverson, shot to make the three, drives against the zone, lays it up and in. Thought he was going to pass, didn't you? McKee. Lips across to Iverson. Nalon is there, but Iverson gets the advantage inside. Drive, hits, and gets fouled. Foul is on Eldon Campbell. That's his first. And, and those are really the only opportunities that Iverson has had when he's broken this uh, zone down on the perimeter off the dribble and gotten inside. That's Rogers' only contribution to this game. Here's a shot vibration and what you can and what you can't do. Iverson hits them both, exclusively zone in the second half. Turnover story, Iverson gets to the baseline, gets the basket plus the foul. Campbell picking up his second. Iverson now with 35 points for Hornets. 11 point lead now down to three. Allen Iverson goes to the rack and scores. We've got a timeout. We'll be right back. Two chances to push the lead to five. Iverson into the paint. Allen Iverson with 37. On for one more. Everybody's starting to congratulate everybody. And the Charlotte Hornets with a convincing win over the Philadelphia 76ers. They'll win it by 9, 94, 85. The Road Warriors 
get it done one more time. What a night for Lee Nalon, for Baron Davis, as the Hornets file to the locker room. All five starters in double figures.